Good evening and welcome to DXB Today. Welcome back. We are talking marine life, a life aquatic. And a lot of people say out of sight, out of mind. But our next guest is doing wonderful things when it comes to marine life. He is an underwater photographer, creating awareness on marine conservation and plastic pollution through the world of media, highlighting the impact of human activities and the balance of the ocean's ecosystems. Please welcome to the DXB today, Sofa, Christophe Chalapamal. Thank you so much for having me. Bonjour. You. Bonjour. <laughs> Good to have you here. So, um, as I just said as well, a lot of people, they, they, they see above the ocean, we have great fun, and, but you're doing important things because you're highlighting what's underneath. The yeah, absolutely. What's yeah. I mean, I guess what's important to put forward is the habitats. Uh, you were talking earlier about uh, mangroves, uh, coral reefs, um, and uh, you know, just generally speaking, oyster reefs. All those habitats provide uh, places for fishers to hide. And we're very lucky in the U.S. There's many initiatives to uh, uh, put forward uh, and protect and restore the habitats. So Christoph, tell us a little bit about your work. You're an underwater photographer. Do you try and spread awareness through showing the beauty of the underwater habitats or by showing the destruction that we've caused as humans? Well, my, my main job for me is to try to create vocations. Um, so I want to uh, initiate the spark with the future generations to want to protect it. It's a bit of both, to be honest, because uh, it's important to uh, uh, realize how beautiful the ocean is, how rich it is, and how much life we have actually in the UAE. But it's also important to look at you know, the problems that we're causing. And it's hard to actually dissociate one without the other. Can you tell us a little bit more about some of the best photography you've taken and maybe that shot that you didn't quite get? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the, the, the shot I didn't get, uh, well, definitely the Mandarin fishers in the Philippines. You need to have a little red light. If you don't have red light, they hide and they literally come out um, uh, at, the, at the sunset to, uh, to mate. And you have to catch them just when they come out for a few seconds, just to almost see if they come up together to, to embrace, you can catch that glimpse. It's only a few seconds and I've never managed to take it and I hope I'm gonna be able to in the future. My favorite shot is definitely in the region, um, taking Nudie Branch. We're very lucky to have a rich biodiversity. Uh, there's a very wide, rich uh, biodiversity of uh, shrimps, Nudie Branch and many colorful fishes. And people don't realize the UE is so rich uh, with life. I, I recently went uh, diving with turtles. Uh, Amazing. And it was incredible to just be under there with them swimming and, and there was a lot of photos and videos as well, which is fascinating, truly fascinating. But where would you say is your best place um, that you've been in the UAE to take photos? Uh, Fujairah is definitely a highlight, uh, Horfakan as well. Um, I, like I said, there's, a, there's an incredible macro. Uh, macro is uh, when it's taking pictures of very small life. There's an incredible array of macro life. We recently uh, uh, seen like a type of shrimp, it's called a harlequin shrimp. Until now it was only seen in the Philippines or in Indonesia. Um, and we think that like larvas are traveling with the ballast water of tankers and potentially it's, you know, uh, permitting us to view so many rare species of, uh, of shrimps or needy branches. First of all, I'm fascinated by uh, underwater photography. I mean, I've never seen a bad click. Fish never take a bad photo. <laughs> Hashtag no filter right there. I'd like to know a little bit more about um, underwater photography enthusiasts out there. Is there a course you need to take or how does this work? The first thing is before going further into photography, you need to be a good diver. Yes. You need to have good buoyancy because if you don't have good buoyancy, you're going to damage the sea bottom. You're going to kick corals. Um, and you're going to lift a lot of sand and that's not going to make uh, very good photos if you have lots of particles. So definitely becoming an accomplished diver is very important. Uh, and then like, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, I teach actually photography uh, and I work with a dive center um, that also teaches photography. But uh, we focus first on the equipment and then on the, 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 what type of animal you want to take pictures of. So depending on what animal you want to take a photo of, you'll have different equipment. For example, for a whale shark, you'll have, we'll have a wild angle lens. And for a small shrimps, you'll have a macro lens. How different is it between taking photographs underwater and above water on land? Like, is it a completely different discipline? It's a completely different discipline. Like the, the, the fact that you're floating in the water is completely changing the perspective. Uh, the light is also completely different. And light is very important in photography. That's a definition of photography. <laughs> uh, but then also like the, the location where you are is going to have more or less particles and particles in the water is going to make uh, uh, less nice photos. So you have to touch them up a bit after. But uh, again, like I'm super happy to be in the region um, and I'm super happy to be able to explore the region because 
Um, and like many other places, the UAE is not uh, one of the most famous yet known places for underwater photography. And I think it's like uh, underrated. It should be more known. Uh, again, the ocean is very rich and there's a lot of room for exploring and discovering new species. We're more known for jet skis <laughs> <laughs> so far. You know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's an environment. We're all living together with the environment. And yeah, I mean, um, it, it comes with the territory, you know. Is it, is it dangerous? I mean, are you ever scared you could get stung by something when you're doing underwater photography? I mean, people ask me exactly that, you know, sharks, how do you deal with it? I always tell them it's like a cat. Uh, if you see a little cat in the streets and you try to pet it right away, it's very likely it's going to get back to you and scratch. Like any animals or like any person, you, they have personal space. So you have to respect that. Uh, actually, sharks are the most uh, amazing creatures in the ocean. And they're not out to, to, to eat you at all. We're absolutely not part of their food chain. Oh. Um, they, they like fish. We don't taste good to them. So Hollywood has been lying to us this whole time. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Steven Spielberg is uh, really feeling uh, bad about his uh, movies about Jaws yeah. uh, because it's been uh, creating a lot of fear. A lot of people associate sharks to fear because of the movie Jaws. But in reality, it's one of the most amazing creatures in the ocean and very important for the ecosystems. Yeah. Peter Benchley, who wrote Jaws, also feels a lot of um, regret in terms of that story as well. And yeah. Um, quick question for you. So would you say you're a fan of muck diving then? I love muck diving. Um, the other thing I'm also a big fan of is uh, uh, blackwater photography, which is the next thing I'm trying to push forward in the UAE. Wow. Can you tell us what muck yeah, diving is? So. <laughs> what is muck diving? Mm -hmm. Do you want to explain? Well, muck diving is when you explore uh, sandy areas uh, and you look for little critters. So again, like very small stuff, little shrimps, uh, little nudie branch. A nudie branch is like a, a sea snail. Thousands of species with lots of colors. Um, you know, very, um, uh, how can I say, uh, vibrant with life. Christophe, <laughs> good stuff. Uh, keep doing everything that you're doing. Very proud of your work. Thank you so much for coming on the show and sharing such important and exciting things with us. I mean, who knew that we are not part of Shark's main course? <laughs> Paris, I believe you have our DXB in 60. That's right, Natalie. I know you weren't warned about this, but we want to try and get to know you as much as possible within 60 seconds. Oh, wow. Quick fire questions. Okay. Just to get to know you a little better. Are you ready? Go for it. All right, in three, two, one. If you weren't working in marine conservation, where would you be working? Uh, in wellness. Love that. Uh, what was your first ever job? Uh, I worked at Delhi. At <laughs> Delhi. Uh, what would you say your motto is when it comes to life and work? Oh, mindset is everything. Uh, what's a superpower you wish you had? Oh, I would love to read minds. Oh, I thought Aquaman. <laughs> uh, a change that everyone can make to save our oceans. Uh, reduce the, the plastic use. Plastic use. Uh, what's the biggest challenge you would say in marine conservation today? Mm, yeah, getting food. everybody <laughs> singing on the same hymn sheet. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, what's your go-to restaurant in Dubai? Ooh, um, I don't live in Dubai. What's your favorite go-to <laughs> restaurant in the UAE? Um, I... Okay, let's go Thiptara. Okay, there very we go, good. Dubai. Uh, what would you say the most used app on your phone is? I hate to say it, but Instagram. You, know, you don't need to hate to say it, you know, be honest. Uh, and the last question, as always, why Dubai or why the UAE? Um, such a great environment, so many fantastic opportunities and a, a wonderful opportunity to make a difference. Incredible. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. Yes, a big another thank you from all of us here at DXB today for coming on, Natalie. It's thank been you. a pleasure. Please come back again. I, I hope to be invited again. Yes, you will. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. you. And Christopher, thank you to you as well. Big merci beaucoup. Thank you. Nice Actually, job. if I can just say one thing, yes. um, I have an exhibition happening okay. uh, on the Monday and Tuesday at the Western Hotel during the Mina Ocean Summit. So I would love uh, to have many people to come and uh, visit me and uh, see my photos. Sounds good, nice. man. Sounds Thank good. You. Thank you very much, bro. Thank you. Uh, but that is not all. We are still got more. We have a lot more. We have Reese closing out the night, so stick around. It's going to be a good one. <laughs>